a nice Labor Day weekend. We were so lucky with great weather yesterday. Um, it almost feels a little chilly to me this morning. It's got that like fall feel. I have to say, as the kids are back to school, it's really got that fall feel out there. I was really thinking this morning, there's like that crispness in the air that I remember when I used to stand at the bus stop. And uh, here we are, back to school. and. Uh, certainly feeling like it that's for sure um, good morning everyone. well I know speaking of back to school I know some kids are heading back today for your first day so let me give a quick shout out to um, Bethlehem Derby Enfield Groton New London and Summers so I know you're heading back to the classroom I hope you have a great school year and that includes the bus drivers the people who work in the cafeteria the teachers um, school resource officers whoever whoever you may be hope you all have a great school year so um, yes, it is the Tuesday after Labor Day, and it is actually a busy start out there. So let me get right into it because we are following breaking news in New Haven that I want to start you off with this morning. Uh, we have Kent Pierce, who is live. There's some police activity happening on Poplar Street. Not a lot of information right now. Police on scene are very busy, um, and they're just not providing a ton of information right now. Um, but Kent did say that um, there seem to be some pretty distraught family members on scene. Um, like they may have received some bad news um, and there's some kind of a memorial growing in the area so um, there's some kind of police activity on Poplar Street uh, that has gotten a lot of attention of people who live in that area so uh, Ken Pierce is live on that this morning you can get those updates uh, throughout the morning on Good Morning Connecticut so we have that um, we also have Samaya live today so remember we were talking yesterday about how UConn's head football coach Randy Edsel is going to be stepping down going to be retiring at the uh, end of the football season. Well, that lasted like two hours um, because he stepped down yesterday, effective immediately. So we are expecting today to hear the new um, head from the new head football coach. And we have Samaya Hernandez live with that this morning. So it's happened very quickly. Um, you know, we talked about this yesterday, rough start for UConn football, just not doing well with their home games and um, a pretty, uh, you know, a loss to a team that we should have done much better. So um, Randy Edsel is officially out and there's a new coach in and we will be hearing from him today. So Samaya Hernandez is live with that for us this morning. Um, speaking of New Haven, uh, there is an indoor uh, mask policy for businesses and um, New Haven Mayor Justin Elliker and um, the health director is going to be conducting a business canvas today. We have um, we are following that for you this morning, and also the, uh, you know, the um, unemployment benefits expired. So this impacts a lot of families, and let me know if you're one of them. Um, but you may have noticed that there's a work shortage situation, um, a worker shortage situation, staffing shortage um, in many places, and uh, that is what a lot of people are saying is because of some of these benefits that they, uh, that uh, the unemployed have been getting. There's criticism that they've been receiving too much and it's not um, giving them the motivation to go back to work. Um, and we are seeing a lot of staff shortages in industries. Well, those benefits now expire. They expired this weekend. Uh, but this does impact a lot of families who really rely on that as well. So uh, this could impact, um, obviously, the economy here in Connecticut. So we have Music Ken Houston live on that. And also what to do if you're in the situation where you've lost benefits. And this is something to rely on. Oh, there's Keith right there behind me. Hi, Keith. Um, so we do have that, which I think is very important. So if you're impacted uh, by the loss of these benefits, you do want to watch the show today and um, hear exactly what you uh, what what you need to know. Um, Gil is back from running his road race yesterday, um, and he's got some great weather that he's talking about today. So uh, I have to say, it's looking a lot like fall in the forecast. So be sure to check in for that. Um, and we also have um, Alyssa, who's back from her uh, Show Us Our Sh Your Shoes event uh, yesterday in Mystic. Uh, she did a great job hosting that. Uh, so we have a lot of Labor Day activities. And actually, if you haven't sent in your pictures uh, from what you did this Labor Day, we would love to see. There were so many fairs happening. We had a neck fair. A lot of people were at the beach. There were a lot of cookouts happening. Um, and we do want to see, I know we're always putting a call out for the back to school photos, but we really do want to see your Labor Day photos. There's my Benjamin. Hi, Ben. <laughs> ben and I usually meet at the coffee machine. We're like on the same coffee schedule. Um, but not today. I, I need to get mine a little later. I, I've been all, all right so far this morning. Um, all right, 
so uh, also today is, you know, I like to give you your national day. And the reason I'm pointing this out today is because this is one of the fastest growing issues. I have producers running behind me. It is a busy morning. Um, it is National Beer Lovers Day. And I tell you this because, you know, beer and craft beer is one of the fastest growing industries in Connecticut right now. Um, so it's a great day to support your local brewers. There are so many. And I have to say, shout out to the restaurants that really highlight the local beer. I love that. I love sitting down to a menu and seeing exactly where it's coming from. And I love when it's like Enfield, Hamden, Old Saybrook, you know, and I see my local communities there uh, listed off. So um, go ahead and support some of the local this morning or not maybe not this morning it's a little early <laughs> how about this afternoon or this evening when you get out of work um, but it is National Beer Lovers Day so um, all right so it is a back to school back to work day um, it's very busy and I do want to get back in there kind of soon um, also oh right we do have um, the president who is going to be touring uh, New York and New Jersey today um, we're expecting to get an update on some of the uh, flooding situation in those states um, after Ida caused so much damage. We're also expecting here locally um, an update soon on the cause of the crash into the Trump building yes, uh, last week that um, sadly killed four people, the two, two pilots and the two uh, passengers as they were heading um, down to the Carolinas. So um, we are expecting an update on that as well. So that's one of the stories that we're watching today. Okay, I do want to get back in there because we do have this breaking news that's coming into our newsroom, um, the situation in New Haven. I just want to get the latest uh, before we get back on air. So let me just quickly, all right, let me quickly see who we have here this morning. Sorry, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to not say hi. So let me do this quickly. Oh, we have David here this morning. Hi, David. Robert is here. Steve is here. Good morning to you. Uh, Chad, Cassandra is here. All right, Kevin is here. Hi there. I see your wave. Thanks so much. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Nicholas, good morning to you. Yes, Ashley is getting some time off today. Well deserved. She works a lot. And I always give her, <laughs> I always tell her, I'm like, you need days off. Make sure you're taking them. Debbie, good morning to you. Victor, good morning. Keith, good morning to you. Hi there. Linda is watching. Hi, Linda. Thanks a lot for being here, Robert. Aw, Robert, thanks for saying that. It's so nice to have the team back together. You know, even when we're away from each other for like one day, it just doesn't feel right. We say it all the time. It just feels off when someone is not there. And obviously with holidays, there are always uh, people missing. <laughs> you know, we have events, we have um, just people taking their time off. So it's just always a lot nicer when we're together. Um, all right, Chad, Cassandra, I gave you your shout outs. All right, I'm trying to scroll up quickly here. Um, Silva, I see you. And we will do this again tomorrow. Join us on Good Morning Connecticut, and I will. Uh, I'll see you on TV. Bye, guys.